The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no secret is revealed. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Solon decreed it a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. Well, I am the unknown soldier who died in World War II. I didn't want to fight, it was the only thing to do. Oh, I was a victim of a world that went insane Will you show me I didn't die in vain Remember me when the crosses are burning Remember me when explosions shake the ground Remember me when the tides of peace are turning Raise the flag of freedom over many distant lands And every time I killed a man, my own heart felt the pain Will you show me I didn't die in vain? Remember me when the crosses are burning Remember me when explosions nuke the ground Remember me when the tides of peace
I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. Confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent.